Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back with another Doka news video. What? It's, it's been 3,000 years. Crazy, bro. I can't believe it. We really out here right now. We're out here for mixed reasons. <laughs> oh boy. Yikes. Big yikes. Big yikes. But as you can hear, of course, we have the boy Cave on today. Back on the news Hello, grind of I sound crisp. Oh yeah. I don't I don't actually know if we mentioned it. Um that I you have a new mic. A podcast episode, but I, don't I mean think we mentioned it in, like, did you mention actual video. True, true. Well, either way I our channel think we don't even know, but <laughs> It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> my channel. Don't worry. This is just my channel. It's my of second course, channel. Of course. Second home. Exactly. Right well, now. News boys. News boy. News gang. We have uh, some very interesting news to go over today. Shout out to the homie Doe Connor for always doing a good job leaking everything and whatnot. He has leaked the information for the brand new Gohan and Cell. We're going to talk about them. Um, what'd you say? I was gonna say 300 mil stuff uh, happened. We didn't cover it, but look in the Discord. Yes, stuff look in the there. Discord. Fun. Oh, the, see, here's the thing. Even though we've been slacking on news, the Discord has still been consistently updating with information. So exactly. hop in there. Make sure you check the Dokkan News channel. Anyway, let's get into it. So we're gonna go over cell first. Um, I brought Kayvon here today. Besides the fact that news gang. Um, because he is a lot more analytical when it comes to the game, which is a good thing, um, in all cases, but specifically for this scenario, because we're going to analyze the units, go figure. <laughs> we're on an adventure, guys. We'll, we'll, go off, we'll go after, uh, each unit as a whole, and then this, we'll go after, like, we'll go after Cell and then discuss it, then go after Go On and discuss it between mm -hmm. the two of us. All right. All right so, would you yeah, like to, uh, begin form. here? We have the Android slash Cell Saga, Category 4 Key, HP and Attack 150 and Defense 170. That's a pretty interesting leader scale, all things considered. Like, 4 Key plus 170 Defense, but 150 to the others is pretty new, I will say. Do you want to explain the category thing, by the way? Oh, yeah, so, thankfully, Dokkan just... Because, technically, Android Saga and Cell Saga are two different things. Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm right, the... Android Saga ends right as Cell is revealed. Mm -hmm. and then becomes Cell Saga starting with his first form stuff and all that. Right. But thankfully, they just merged it into one, so it's called the Android slash Cell Saga, at least on JP right now. Yeah. If I remember. I don't know the global one yet. If global I remember. Probably have a different name. If I remember correctly. No, sorry. I was just. <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> Um, it's when he's first introduced, um, like, drinking people in the towns. <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna drink like, this guy! You know. I'm nine guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he also is a sub-leader for extreme, well, not sub-leader, he has a sub-lead for extreme int, 3 key, 120%. Pretty much confirming he's an extreme int unit. Also, which weird. Is interesting. I mean, int perfect cell is the best link buddy now. Wait. Beautiful. What? <laughs> big brain. I mean, literally big brain. Wow. <laughs> Pointing to the brain. Also, the sub name is there is the true valor of perfect form. I missed that because it's so small. The true valor of perfect. What does that mean? I, I, don't, I don't know. Also, we're gonna get a new Cell Junior card. If you see on the top right there. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. So, buddy, Cell Junior over there. But anyhow, that's his leader skill, the passive skill. Hold on, I'm gonna need to like get in closer here. Is there any <laughs> figure, by the way? Wait, what? Um, I mean, uh, I can here because I am blind as a bat. Here, wait. Oh, much better. Thank you. Oh God, do me, do me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> go back. Is that good uh, or no? Yeah, you're good. You're good. I didn't okay. make you think of that thing. Sorry, I'm, I'm bat blind. I'm sorry. Passive is attack and defense eighty percent. Super Saiyan fours. <laughs> Angry in the distance. <laughs> Raises defense by up to 80%. The more HP you're gaining, the greater the boost. So at max HP, you're gaining 160% defense, which is stupid. On top of 170 defense, this guy's going to take no damage. Is that uh, accurate? Yeah, probably. What do you mean? Like to the show. I mean, I could see it, yeah. He, he, he survived the final flash and then just kind of like regenerated. So I guess that's true. Like, 
Very true. And then we have a little bit of an LR cell meme going on here, plus an additional one key and attack plus 20% per existing enemy. And then evolve when conditions are met. I like that they made a reference with both Gohan and Cell to their other LRs. I think that's cool. And funny thing, we'll see in Cell's transform start, transformed state, he also references STR Perfect Cell's EZA. Which is pretty cool. Um, can you explain how the passive skill works? Because I don't think I understand. Unless okay, he's so a small brain. He gets 80% attack in defense, just start. Right. Right? Yeah. And then the first part, he raises defense up to 80 uh-huh. The more HP, the greater the defense. So, with how that works, I think it's like the amount of HP you're at, and it's like divided by eighty percent is what you get. On top something of like the that. Start on top path. of the on top of the eighty percent. Yeah. Huh. So if you're at max HP, you get one hundred sixty percent defense. Interesting. Okay. And then it keeps going down until you're like dead. That's yeah. weird. But all right. And then for the attack portion. Per at, basically against one enemy, you're actually gonna have a hundred percent attack up, mm. and and one extra key. So, okay. and it keeps going, scaling on each enemy. Bad. Yeah, we have these super attacks, colossal damage, and massively lowers defense. Mm. The eighteen key is greatly raised attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. And then this is a bit of a weird thing. His transform, transformation. There we go. That's the right word. <laughs> <laughs> Can be activated when facing only one enemy, starting from the third turn. After evolution, which is something that's been throwing people off right now, I personally think it's just like a little mistranslation thing from Dokener because this cell only transforms once, mm-hmm. and this is how he transforms. So I th- I think like that's just a little bit of a, like bad wording, but basically after three turns and against one enemy, he transforms into perfect cell, and his categories are androids slash cell saga. Wait, he's on resurrected warriors. Uh. Yeah, that's be- weird. Because remember, um, this cell. Oh, yeah, because this is technically a perfect form cell. Not well, he does become perfect cell, so I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't know. I'm What's assuming weird? they're no, because they're they're calling back to um, because remember when he initially got destroyed? Um, wait, that was when he first became perfect cell, which happens. Right, obviously. After Goku does the bye guy stuff. Right. And this is technically before the bye guys happen. That's weird. Yeah, was, well, I guess it's because he transforms into Perfect Cell. Might as well right. Cool. He transforms so, into after yeah. he comes back. Yeah. You know. So he also has full power, androids, transformation boost, time travelers, artificial life forms. And what's this? A Kamehameha category? We'll mm-hmm. get to that later. Is that just a link? Or is that a category? We'll see. Oh, yeah, we don't have links for whatever reason. Dokener said no i guess <laughs> which is weird i'll look at the reddit while we these do this, links but... will be your end i mean we can we can assume generic cell links with legendary true thank goodness no flea or stuff like that the same for first one so so overall thoughts decent unit very the will defend stupidly well mm-hmm. with that amount of defense but this is not even his final form <laughs> all right speaking of which Speaking of final yes. forms, expand cell. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so leader skill is the same. Same with the passive skill. Or not same with the passive skill. Same with the sub leader skill. Passive skill fully recovers HP once only. <laughs> Vegito? Is that you? <laughs> Pretty much. This guy's gonna. Because here's the thing. Think about it like this. Before we even get to the rest of the passive. In SPR, usually, you'd like a stall to get Vegito and Gogeta transformed to get the full heal, right? Mm-hmm. With the, how this cell works. He can only transform against one enemy. And by the time you en- you end all the other enemies and have one, he'll just transform automatically, because by then, three turns are already gone. So you automatically get the full heal. Hmm. And then you can just end the event, which is honestly very <laughs> good. But anyhow, passive skill is key plus... F- I didn't even realize that key plus four. That's really good, actually. For an LR getting key just n- out of nowhere... That's really good. Okay. Key plus four and attack and defense plus 120%. And here's where the STR cell comes in. <laughs> That's plus a lot of information. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% when you collect four orbs. That's cool. Plus additional attack and defense plus 20% when you collect six orbs. Plus additional attack plus 20% when you collect eight orbs. Hmm. Or more. So basically, if you get eight orbs, you're getting a total of 40% more defense and 60% more attack. 
That's cool. And it, it isn't calculated separately, sadly, but you're basically getting 160% defense and 180% attack on an LR with already four key. This guy's getting ultra supers everywhere. That's dummy thick. Yeah, this, I didn't realize how good that four key was. Mm -hmm. For an LR, that's great. And his super attacks cause colossal and massive defense again. And then colossal damage and cause, uh, or how it works. 18 key causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and lowers attack and defense, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then we have the ultimate skill, which I don't think it says the conditions here, so we'll have to figure that out eventually. But mm -hmm. we have the solar coming up, it greatly raises attack for one turn temporarily and causes ultimate damage to the enemy and massively lowers defense. Wow. This guy's going to lower defense everywhere. He's a defensive monster in every sense of the word. Well, he destroys your defense, he has his own defense, and he attacks. <laughs> protect, <laughs> he, he protect, attacks. he attacks. <laughs> this, I didn't realize until I actually read it out loud. This cell is dummy thick. Also, like, four key, not four key, I'm not getting over that. Because that, like, because it still has, he'll probably have, like, shocking speed, maybe revival, like, fear and faith. Like, he'll have good key links, and just one link, he's already at, he's already getting a guaranteed 12 key. Then you just need six more, in which you're usually going to try and get eight. Mm -hmm. So you're automatically get the Ultra Super. That's pretty good. Like, that's, and his transformation, unlike a certain other card we'll see in a second, is so <laughs> easy to get from what it looks like. And that full heal, too, makes him great for SBR. This cell is... For the first Dokkan Fest Extreme LR, he's amazing. That is also very odd that that's the case. No, right? I mean, for you, like, cell, it kind of makes sense. I mean... I mean, it would make sense with Frieza, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Also, I wanted to mention, because this should be mentioned, and we kind of forgot to mention it. Um, oh. Technically, this is um, subject to change and not necessarily concrete. Um, you have to remember that, you know, leaked information besides, obviously, like, images and stuff. Yeah, um, this could be changed a bit when it's actually released, but... Right. Right now, uh... Well, and, you know, leaks are always just subject to be false because they're leaks. Yeah. That's naturally how they are. Obviously, Dokkan and Ur has almost said Dokkan itself. Dokkan Ur has built up a reputation of being a very reputable leaker in terms of information. So, obviously, that's why we're putting full trust in him. But you always have to mention that just yeah. because. So, anyway. Also, fun, fun fact. Apparently, Dokkan Ur mentioned these guys worked on a year ago. Really? Apparently. Huh. That's crazy. Uh, Katsuki is 15 steps ahead of the game. <laughs> or they're already thinking the sixth year at this point, not Bro, the fifth year. They're on that uh, that Doctor Strange type stuff. They're seeing they're all, the outcomes. They're, they're already making the f million downloads units. <laughs> Dang. But anyhow, time to go on to a more controversial. controversial unit. Ah. <laughs> Big brain. Big brain. Right. So you have Gohan. So have Love these... the art, by the way. Oh yeah. We have the Super Saiyan Gohan Youth, Awakened True Power. And over there it shows a little Android 16, a new one. Yeah. Boy. Which we'll need, because, uh, oh boy. Anyhow, leader skill is the Kamehameha category, 3 key. 130 HP, 170 attack and defense, which is interesting. Yeah. And Super HL, 3 key, 120% HP attack and defense. Yay, so he's very HL. type leads. <laughs> so, funny thing, this is the fourth door best dual dual confess this year that is agl huh remember when agl had no support <laughs> welcome to the future baby yeah passive build attack and defense plus 100 percent t plus one plus an additional attack and defense plus 10 percent at the start of each turn Rough key up to five and attack and defense up to 70 percent so he stacks right As well. uh, ba yeah basically 100 percent attack and defense at base and every right. turn he gets 10 more oh actually i think how it would technically work is that he gets 110% attack and defense at the start at the first turn he appears in one key. Well, I'll have to we'll have to check that when they come out because because technically they uh, at the start of each turn implies the first turn he's also on the board. Mm -hmm. So, but either way, he gets a max of 170 attack and defense and five key, which is very nice. That's cool. And, but it's going to take a while. But thankfully, thanks to his uh, SAs, he can use the military Goku man because his 12 key raises defense and causes mega or causes damage to me and his 18 key raised defense and causes mega colossal damage that's nice and here's where it stops getting nice <laughs> active skill 
can be activated when HP is 58% or less with Android 16 on the team. Or when HP huh? is or less with an existing Android's category ally or enemy starting from the fifth turn from the start of the battle once only. Huh? So let's decide for this part by part. So there's two ways you can activate a Super Saiyan 2 transformation. Mm -hmm. First way is being 58% or less with Android 16 on the team. Then you can activate it automatically once you hit below 58%. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, if you don't have an Android 16 on the team, but you have an Android ally or enemy, like if you're facing a Cell or, or MVP 17, or if you have a random other Android on the team like Cell, which you can use on the coming out category, mm -hmm. you basically it's the same restriction being below 58% HP, but you also have to wait five turns from the start of battle. That's really weird that you can just activate it right off the bat, though, if you have 16. Well, if you're be if you're below the HP threshold, right, so it's right, not right. really possible. That. Mm. But so, well, I'll, I'll talk about his categories, then we'll get into them. Mm -hmm. So, his categories are Kamehameha, Hybrid Saiyans, Full Power, Goku's Family, Youth Transformation Boost, and the Android slash Cell side. Right. So, see, I'm, I want your opinion. What do you think of this? Um, I know how I feel a bit, but I want to see your opinion. The active skill part or the unit in general? Both. The unit in general, I think, is all right. Um, I mean, passive skill, obviously, it's pretty solid. Um, the the five defense, key is very nice. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, the defense raising is also obviously really helpful. Um, the active skill. I don't know. I think it's way too restrictive. I understand that they're trying to mimic the anime yeah, in this terms is, yeah, of... It's pretty much the anime below. I said it before we recorded. I don't want to feel like I'm having to fight Cell to get into <laughs> Right. In order to transfer. Like. So, I mean, there are other units that are kind of specific when it comes to different things that they do. Like, but... They don't feel right. They don't feel limiting necessarily. They feel, I don't know, restrictive, but not restricted. You know what I mean? Like, when, like the only thing you can really pair this is to the Doka Fest Piccolo, mm -hmm. and even him, all it is is four turns, and you need an Amekia on the team. Which, if you're running his actual category, the other Piccolo counts. Mm -hmm. So there's not really any problem. Also, but, and then you also have Nail and a bunch of other Namekian. This like, needs to, wait, go ahead, you first. No, I was just going to say that for him and Gohan, realistically, if you didn't want to run any androids on the team, well, A, if you don't run any androids on the team and you're not facing an android enemy, he's not going to transform, which I think is yeah. dumb. Because um. Um, that's like... I don't know. I feel like that's borderline not okay. Um, yeah. Because then, what if you're a new player and you don't even have an Android card? Super Strike 16 coming back <laughs> in the meta, boys. Hey, my man. Um, and it sucks because you can't even use the Fighter 16. He's wait, not on Android. Not? He's not on the Cell Saga because he's from Fighters. Mm, interesting. So, but oh yeah, go ahead. I would think that to make this work, then you would have to use either obviously an android on the team, or you could run Gohan as a leader and then Cell as the friend. True, true. That could work. Or you could just run Cell on the team. True, but I mean, but even that. So yeah, yeah. Do you do Cell? Even if you use six. But what if you don't pull I, Cell though? I mean, we have a bunch of cells we could use though. They're all sure. gonna come up. But it's also the fact that even if you do have 16, 58% or less is a oh, number, wow. to say the least. Mm -hmm. Especially on a unit that'll end up having one... Especially on the one who infinitely stacks his defense, but he needs to be low on HP to transform. It's like it's like when they gave, gave Tech Easy a Go Tanks. The, uh, what's it called? Uh... Um... I also don't understand. I don't understand why fifty-eight. 
Well, Pev Gohan is 58 in the Japanese or whatever. Wait. But that's still dumb! <laughs> yeah. I'll thank you for back to the Uh, sorry if you heard the pause or something. Discord was being a clan. What are you anyway. talking about? There's no pause. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway. And they heard it all! Got him! Anyway, let's move on to Gohan. <laughs> Well, oh, well, okay, let me just say one thing before that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to take for me his, two seconds to scroll. Oh, look, we're there. For, for his category is half mm -hmm. of them you can't even have him transform unless you find an android enemy. Because Goku's family has no androids on it for allies. Neither does youth. Neither does hybrid Saiyans. It, it's weird. It's very weird. And, and they're always not on androids. Exactly. And the 58% restriction is just dumb, but... Anyhow, we have Gohan's transformation. Passive skill. Attack plus 20% and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained. Plus an additional one key per key sphere obtained. Hello, LR Gohan. How do you do? <laughs> Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when facing only one enemy. Launches an additional super attack when facing multiple enemies. And here's the part I don't know how to feel about. Plus an additional 59% attack when performing an ultra super attack and your team has a super saiyan goku attacking in the same turn attacking wait so what if they get uh stunned so, oh i didn't even think about that <laughs> but you have to have them linked with a goku or you're not getting that second part of the passive that's dumb. That restricts him even further. You can't use him on youth if he, you can't transform him. Nor can you get the full passive on youth or hybrid Saiyans. That's pretty ridiculous. And so, launch the additional super attack and face multiple enemies is pretty pretty good. But then you don't get the orb changing. But it's it's weird. This Golan's trying to do too much. I feel. I and also not, think it's like just way 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 too restricted. Yeah, and like honestly, all you're going through all this to get an LR Gohan that gets two percent per orb more. Because remember, old LR Gohan gets eighteen percent attack per orb. This guy just gets twenty for all those hoops, which is just kind of baffling to me. Honestly, sure you get seven percent more defense, but this guy's not going to be taking like it's like tech trunks in the Goku man. When you transform, his defense isn't going to be anywhere near how it is in the second form, even. It, it's like, why not just run old LR Gohan at this point? Because if it's going to be that restricted, then you might as well just settle for the little less damage, you know? Yeah, exactly. At least that's how I think about it. I don't know. But anyways, well, to finish off, we have the super attack, which is greatly raised defense for one turn. And causes Mega Colossal damage on the 12 key, so that's at least one good thing uh, from this. Mega Colossal on the 12 key again. And 18 key has great raised attack and defense for one turn, and causes Mega Colossal damage to the enemy. So all in all, I honestly feel Cell's better. Team Cell! <laughs> team Cell, baby. Hashtag Team Cell. It's so sad, though, because we were so excited for this Gohan. And yeah. Obviously, his animations and everything are oh, fire, but PK fire, PK fire. Um, but yeah, uh, it's honestly a shame. I like, I get you're trying to be accurate to the anime, but it's a little rid ridiculous, honestly. It's a lot of setup. Um, I will say, as a result of this, I really hope that they don't make units this specific going forward. People are thinking of the new Delcon meta, and I'm I know. a little scared if that's the case. Cause... Because, like, imagine <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 transforming active skill Goku comes out. You have to have uh, Fat Boo and um, Bobbity as Bobbity enemy to be able to transform. And you have to wait five minutes from the start of the timer. <laughs> <laughs> a little ca like a little timer appears in yeah, the game. You have to wait five minutes. It's five in the game. real world minutes. <laughs> yep. And then uh, the actual goes on for an extra five minutes as he's screaming. That's pretty funny. But anyhow, I think that I think we talked a little bit much about two units. That's okay. It was an analysis. It's oh my gosh! It's a half hour. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> hope you guys yeah. enjoyed. <laughs> yep. Um, if we get any more information, we'll maybe make a second update video. Who knows? We'll see. We will definitely uh, be starting news videos again, though, because I enjoyed Ooh, this, go. and I also like doing news, and I miss it. So we're going to start again, and this marks the beginning of a rebirth of an era. Hey, the phoenix rises again. <laughs> exactly. But anyway... Let us know what you think of Gohan and Cell in the comments section below. Uh, let us know if you're hashtag Team Gohan or hashtag Team Cell. Thank you, Hydros, for starting that, by the way. Yeah. And we will catch you in the next one. Having you two out, peace. Later, guys.